Cześć, tutaj Moni and welcome to Learn Polish with Advance. Szczęśliwego Nowego Roku, uh, Happy New Year and uh, thank you for waiting for me. Uh, I had to have a break due to my personal circumstances um, and uh, thank you for your understanding. Um, I do appreciate that. Thank you for your support. The first video this year is not on uh, on the Polish grammar, which you can find plenty of on this channel, but I decided to do something completely different and to focus on the Polish pronunciation. A few reasons for that. First of all, I think uh, the pronunciation is often overlooked. And although I tend to at least mention uh, pronunciation in my grammar videos, I haven't actually done anything on the pronunciation uh, on solely, solely on pronunciation. So um, uh, this is something I've always wanted to do. So here it is. And this course will be presented to you in a few separate lessons. So you can always come back to it and choose the lesson that you, uh, that you want to focus on. And it aims to equip you with the confidence in pronunciation, even the most difficult words, uh, consonant, consonant clusters. Uh, so at the end of this course, you would be able to pronounce uh, something you may find difficult uh, now, uh, at the moment, uh, with these. So let me start with uh, with uh, some theory first, just a few minutes on that. I often hear from students that uh, Polish is a really difficult language, uh, but I've got to say that there is no such thing as the most difficult language. Um, uh, linguists uh, speak of something which is called language difficulty, uh, which actually relates to your native tongue. So let me explain it further. So uh, you may agree, right, that um, uh, I, uh, being a Polish native speaker, uh, I would have less trouble or less significant issues in learning Slovak, which is uh, which belongs to the same language family as Polish, than someone, let's say, from Japan, right? Uh, I could even consider Slovak easy, and I do, in fact, I learned that language uh, and I speak it fluently. Uh, um, whereas someone from, as I mentioned, Japan, for instance, would have uh, a different opinion, would think that this is, uh, um, this is a language which is quite difficult uh, to grasp. Uh, now, um, Welsh language, uh, English even, uh, was quite challenging for me. I still learn, uh, I'm learning Welsh and I've got to say that a certain consonant mutation, certain words are pretty challenging. Uh, and it is because uh, Welsh doesn't have anything uh, to do with Polish. It shares very little uh, with Polish, right? So of course, certain things are completely foreign to me. Uh, and that is the reason uh, we speak of language difficulty. So, um, as I mentioned, Slovak belongs to the same language group, so certain words and grammar structures are similar to me, so I can learn that quicker and I understand it uh, better. It just makes sense. Uh, so when you're learning a foreign language, uh, pronunciation and grammar rules um, are the defining factors behind its difficulty. So when it comes to Polish, we've got seven case declension system, we've got complex gender uh, and uh, pronunciation, uh, pronunciation structure, uh, which would be harder to learn um, for someone or to someone who uh, speaks the language or whose native language doesn't have hissing consonants or uh, gender uh, structure uh, when it comes to grammar, right? These things would be foreign to you, uh, like cer certain things in Welsh are foreign to me, so grasping them is a little bit more challenging. But, but, uh, it's all down to practice. It's all down to practice, especially when it comes to uh, phonetics. So once you master the pronunciation, it won't seem that difficult and Truly, trust me on it, you will be able to pronounce any Polish word or sentence with ease, with confidence. So let's start. Let me introduce you to uh, 17 strangers. Letters, diagraphs and one trigraph which are unknown to English alphabet. So when it comes to um, the spelling, they're different. 
But when it comes to、um, pronunciation of some of the letters,、uh, digraphs and trigraphs, one trigraph, you will、uh, find out some similarities.、Um, so they are not that different. Not all of them, at least. Okay, so let's look at the letters first. We've got three vowels here,、uh, which have different、uh, spelling to English. So, a with a little tail that we call ogonek,、um, the vowel e with the with ogonek with a little tail, and vowel o with、uh, an acute accent above it. And this one is pronounced om, so almost like. Starting with o, 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 o. This one, l, l, and this one is u. Okay, so o, l, u, o, l, u. You can start practicing saying those sounds, those letters aloud,、uh, but we will.、Um, We'll go to exercises、uh, very very soon, so don't worry. It's just the introduction, okay? So take it easy, listen and practice. So once again, o, l, u, o, l, u. These are kind of bouncy sounds. O, l, o, l. It's almost like bouncing ball, <laughs> bouncing the ball. So o, l. And o, okay. So these are our three vowels on that list. Now you will see、uh, that when it comes to、uh, these,、uh, to the le、uh, letter Z, the consonant Z, we've got two different version of this consonant. So I'm just kind of jumping. Sorry about that, but I'm jumping to different letters here. Let's start from the very very bottom. So letter Z, Z with Uh, the acute accent above it makes it very very soft, and it will be the case with all of those、uh, consonants with an acute accent, apart from the vowel u because it's not a consonant. So z, the z, z with an accent、uh, becomes j. So my tongue is coming closer to the palate. Z becomes j. So that's j. So the acute accent above the made it soft, very very soft. J, J, okay. So Z without the accent is Z, 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 Z with the accent make、uh, it it becomes very very soft, and it's then J, 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 okay. So Z, J, okay. So that's J. So let's、uh, look at another consonant that. Uh, has got the acute accent above, and that's s. So s with、uh, the、um, sound without the accent. So letter without the accent is s s s, as in English snake, right? So the same,、uh, the same <laughs>、uh, sound, sound, same sound,、uh, but with the accent, right? Just because we add an accent above it. Uh, it becomes softer and it becomes sh, sh, okay. So that's j and that's sh, j, sh. So this one is voiced j, j. If you touch your neck,、uh, you will actually feel the、um, uh, vibrations here in your、um, uh, in your throat. So j. But when you do the same with the consonant as、uh, accent, you will、uh, feel no vibrations at all. Sh, sh, j, sh, j, sh. So try practicing with your hand on the throat. J, sh, j, sh. Right? This is unvoiced. Okay. Now, n without the accent is n, n, as in no, no. Nothing. Okay, so n, the same、uh, sound. However, with the acute accent, it becomes ng, ng. Again, like with the j, my tongue goes close to the palate, touches the palate almost, and it becomes ng, ng, ng. Right? So ng, j, sh, ng, 
ج ش ن اوكي اند ذا سيم از جوينج تو بي ام هابنينج فور ذا سيم فور ذا كونسوننت ص سو ذا كونسوننت ا سي ان انجلش ان بوليش از برونانس از تي اس however with the acute accent above it it again becomes very very soft and it's going to be ch 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 right so z sh ch right so these are quite similar sh ch both unvoiced uh, so um these two voiced z and ny are voiced and sh and ch unvoiced so let's practice j j j you can you can feel the vibrations j sh j sh j sh okay so voiced unvoiced now let's do voiced voiced j ny j ny j ny okay now let's do this one and this one together so unvoiced voiced sh ny sh ny sh ny okay and this one sorry this one and this one both unvoiced sh Okay. Now this one and this one, voiced and voiced. Ny, ch, ny, ch, ny, ch. Okay, almost done. So now let me tell you a secret. Right? You will never see when it comes to spelling um, a consonant with an acute accent above it and then uh, a vowel after that so let me show you uh, here like that okay you probably uh, have seen the word shem in you uh, in polish shem huh? uh, you can hear that s i shem is the same sound as this one go okay now i cannot spell it like that but this and this pronunciation wise are the same shown 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 so where wherever you see a consonant and i that's actually this acute accent above which was made the letter i right because my spelling um uh rules didn't allow me to use the s acute accent and then vowel straight after so for instance yeah let's look at this n and i pronunciation wise is the same what this is yeah yeah right but i cannot spell it like this obviously right i cannot have the accented um consonant and the vowel so i spell it like that but i pronounce it exactly the same very very soft nya 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 right uh so few words here green in polish is zielone 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 Zielone, right? So ZI is nothing else but that. Uh, so this is my Z, Z, right? So it's almost like that. Zielone, but I cannot write it in this way. So Zielone, right? Like that. Z, Z. So next time you see a uh, consonant with an i right make it super soft think accent above this letter right change this i letter for the accent 
and you will know how to pronounce it. So let's practice more. I love you in Polish is, you may know this, kocham cię, cię, right? But cze, ci, 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 I think that, cię, cię. It's not cię, it's cię. C-I, the I becomes an accent, cię, pronunciation-wise, right? Cię, cię, kocham cię, kocham cię, right? So let us... Uh, go further. So we've got z. Back in spelling, we would have that um, uh, accent changed into i. So as in zielone, green. Yes, z i e l o n um, y. Right. So z się, s i, and then l. Right. Się. Niebieski, the color for uh, the color blue. Niebieski, right? Again, N I E B I E S K I. So niebieski, right? Spelling uh, and spelling this accent becomes an I after N, right? I cię, for instance, as in kocham cię, right? The accent becomes an I again, cię, right? Uh, so you know already how to pronounce z, sh. N and ch. We've got two nasals, o and uh, l, right? And we've got one more vowel with acute accent above, above which is o. So there is uh, one more letter that I need to talk about. Actually, two more. Sorry, uh, it's this one and this one. So uh, let's start with an l with a cross uh, in the middle. This is nothing else uh, um, but the sound w, w, as in whiskey, w, w, and it's always pronounced in this way, right? So, uh, as in always, <laughs> w, w, so w, w, let me type some words with w, we will be practicing that more, uh, what for, easy, w, what for, what for, Wuszka, bed. Wuszka, don't worry about those for now. Wuszka. Can you see the O with an uh, with accent U? So wu, wu, wuszka. Okay, wuszka. Okay. Spoon. Wuszka, wuszka. Uh, it's always pronounced in this way. Okay, so let us go to the last letter, Z uh, dot, okay? So you know already that this one is Z, yeah? And spelling it will be Z-I, yeah? Zielona, right? So Z, Z, right? Z, Z, okay? This one is Z, Z. Almost like from the French, bonjour, right? So Z. R, r. So, żaba, frog, żaba, 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 uh -huh. życie, life, życie, always pronounced in this way, right? Here, we don't have an accent to make any kind of I or anything like that, so we don't worry about it. It's not the acute accent, it's the dot, so r. Życie. A tortoise, żółw. And then look, you already know these three um, uh, strangers. Ż, then we've got u, and then we've got w, right? So żółw, żółw, żółw. Let us go through letters again. O, ć, l, w. N, U, Sh, Z, Z. Let's go from bottom up. Z, Z, Sh, U, N, W, L, Ch, O. So let's uh, let's practice. Uh -huh. How do you pronounce 
this. Chow. Chow. Shed them. So don't worry if you mispronounce something at the end of the word, okay? It doesn't matter at this stage. We will get there. It's important for you to get the beginning right, okay? So shed them. Mm -hmm. Usme. Żrebak. Pong. Sąk. Są. Crown Cheech Vontwe Vontwe mm -hmm. Just the syllables now, just the letters. How you pronounce these two? Cha. Okay. Sha. Mm -hmm. Nya. Mm -hmm. Ja. Very good. Once again, let us cha. Oops. Cha. Sha. Nya. Ja. Mm -hmm. Let's do. Let's do this. You know the score now. Cha. Cha. Sha. Sha. Nya. Nya. Ja. Ja. Like that. Chi. She. Ni. Ji. Right? So this becomes this letter. This accent becomes this letter. This, this, and this, that. Right? So now. Okay. Practice as I. Type it. Chu. Shu. Once again. Shu. Nyu. Ju. Think about the pronunciation already as I type. Chow. Shown. Nyao. Zhao. Mm -hmm. Think about it. As I type. Chong. Shou. Nyao. Zhao. Mm -hmm. Super. Now, ra, 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 ra. 
we won't have this situation in Polish spelling. Okay, it's not an accent, it's a dot, so we won't have uh, the I uh, vowel after that. Letter what? Well, well, wong, wong, wa, 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 wa. Where, where, where? Now let's look at diagraphs. And diagraphs means we will have two consonants. One could be accented one, or even one with a dot, like you see here. So ch, although it's two letters, it's just one sound, and it's h, as in hotel. Right. C Z T T. -t. So be careful, it's not the same as ch. ch. This is very soft. This is where your palate is going, uh, your tongue is going to the palate. This one is where your tongue is uh, stays at the bottom. So t -t -t -t. this one, your tongue goes up. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Can you hear the difference? Ch, 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 as in chest. Okay, ch, ch, ch. Okay, so that's C, Z. Now, uh, so you can hear this is one sound. Ch, okay, I'm not saying Z, right? It's T. Now, D, Z is pronounced Z, Z. So here we can hear this D, Z, D, Z, Z. -z. Z, one after the other, two uh, voiced ones. So z, 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 uh -huh. z, z. Mm -hmm. Now you know already the z and accent. You know it's the j. Yeah, this accent make it e very soft e. So g, g, g. So again, look at here. We, uh, we. Spell it like this, right? Exactly like like this. This is exactly the same. G, 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 G. Okay? And look, this is also a trigraph, right? Because we can have that Z accent spelled as DZI. Therefore, and it's still G, right? Can you see it? Therefore, we could one trigraph here. So, G, 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 G. We don't have any D, S, uh, which would be another trigraph, or uh, D, uh, C accent. We only have D, Z accent. And that accent becomes an I in spelling, but still in pronunciation, it's the same sound as this. So, G, G. Okay, so you already know the trigraph now. So, G, G. Okay? Uh, now, Z dot, you knew it was, you know, this is the, uh, sorry, the Z dot is Z, Z, Z. So if you add another voiced consonant to it, D, 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 spelled uh, D, Z dot, pronounce D, D. So D, Z, D, D. Try to make it very, very short and one sound, D. Okay, d, d, okay, so it's d, z, dot, one after the other, but d, d, very, very quick, so it be becomes one sound, d, d, uh-huh, so that's g, d, g, d, you can even see it here uh, spelled, right, g, g, d, right, this is z, 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 g, d, Okay, so these are very, very funny ones. So once again, here with the D, then we will come to this one, these ones again. So, Z, 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 G, 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 D, D, D. Mm -hmm. So you know Polish word 
Dziękuję. Right? This is our trigraph. G. Right? G. G. Therefore, dziękuję. It's not dziękuję. It's dziękuję. Right? Dziękuję. Dziękuję. Right? So, dzie, dzie, du, du. Um, right? Let me put the word duma, 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 mm -hmm, duma. Jungla, jungla, jungle, jungla, jungla, du, du, du. So again, in jungle, in, in English, you can hear a very similar similar sound, j jungla, right? Okay, so j. Now, this diagraph, rz, is exactly the same uh, in pronunciation as z dot. So we can say that z dot j equals this it's a different spelling the same sound j so żaba rzeka rzut don't worry about the meaning of the words rzut żonkil the same sound okay so this equals this different spelling the same pronunciation how easy is that so j Ż, ż, okay, and this one is unvoiced. Sh, 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 right? Sh, as in shaking. Sh, 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 sh. Uh huh. Sh. So let us go through them again. H, h, hotel. H, h. In Polish, it is spelled uh, um, with uh, the. Uh, with one H, not CH, but we've got for this sound, huh? uh, we've got two different spellings. So H and H are the same. Uh -huh. So humor or hata. So it's not chata, but hata. So H exists in Polish alphabet and this also exists and this is the same sound. Okay, different spelling. So, ch, z, g, d, z, sh. So again, this is the same sound. So let's practice again a little bit. Hore, hore, ha. Ha, okay. Cześć. Can you see it now? Hi in Polish. Cześć. Cześć. Mm -hmm. Dźwig. 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 Dżungla. Dżungla. Jungla. Mm -hmm. Rzeka. 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 Rząd. 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 Dzień. Dzień. Dzi. Right? Trigraph. Dzień, dzień, dzień. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Dzik, wild boar. <laughs> dzik, 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 dzik. Mm -hmm. Szafa, wardrobe. Szafa, szafa, szafa. Tęść, tęść, tęść. Mm -hmm. Często, 
Często. Często. So there you go. Um, you already know 17 strangers. On, ch, en, w, n, u, sh, r, j, h, t, z, j, d, r, sh, j. Right? So these are the same pronunciation wise and these are the same pronunciation wise. Um, so that's our first lesson on 17 strangers. I will be posting another video just for patrons to practice 17 strangers. So 17 strangers practice. Uh, so uh, that, uh, that is coming soon. Uh, and I hope, uh, I truly hope that you enjoy it. Thank you very much once again for your understanding and see you very soon.